Hello viewers and in today's video we're looking at when does an automatic watch actually start losing time as it runs out of power. On the left we've got the 8J high accuracy quartz Creedor and on the right we have got the 8L35 SLA043. Now at 3 o'clock which is my reference time the it's exactly one second ahead of the quartz watch. Let's go to 4 o'clock we will take readings every hour to see how the Seiko works, the automatic works with reference to the quartz. It's four o'clock now and again it's exactly one second ahead so the automatic has not lost any time. Now remember the automatic will lose time by six o'clock so there's only two more hours of power left in the mainspring. It's now five o'clock and the automatic is exactly one second so it's falling by back by one second behind it's six o'clock and it's one and a half second behind the creed or now let's take time at 6 30 at 6 30 it's again one and a half seconds behind let's do it every five minutes now because we're beginning to lose time at 6 35 we're minus two seconds behind let's see what happens at 6 40 Again, at 6.40, we're minus 2 seconds. This is amazing. It's about to run out of power, but it's only running behind by minus 2 seconds. Okay, it's 6.45, minus 3 seconds. Let's see what happens at 6.50. 6.50, we're minus 4 seconds. And that's it. At 6.50 minutes, 45 seconds, we're out of power. And it's minus 5 seconds behind. Now, what does this tell us? Well, one thing that it does tell us that the 8L35 movement is an amazing movement. Why is it an amazing movement? Well, because it's essentially a 9S Grand Seiko automatic movement. And the other thing is a well-regulated movement really doesn't lose time till it runs out of power in the mainspring. That's it for today. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on a later video. Thank you very much.